My name is Dr. Ann Lee Birch. My role at A.T. Still University is I am the Vice Dean of the Arizona School of Health Sciences. My days are very varied, so I might meet with students and talk about some policies they're confused about. I might meet with faculty and help them develop their curriculum. I might meet with the chairs of the departments and listen to ideas about new programs. And I meet with the dean every day just to go over how to best run operations. Being the founding university of osteopathic medicine influences our education because what we truly, truly do is graduate our students to think about the whole person. They have an eye towards the whole person. And that really happens. I watch it happen. They come in, usually from undergrad, or they may be an existing practitioner, and we thread whole person healthcare throughout our curriculum so that they learn what is important in terms of providing care while taking into consideration the body, mind, and spirit. To have a plan of care that's patient-centered, you have to have all the pieces working together. You have to have the physical therapist working with the physician assistant. The doctor is a facilitator of the team, but not the only person speaking in the room. And it's been proven by evidence-based practice that team-approached care works, works for the patient and works for the families. Interprofessional education works naturally at ATSU because when students come in from the very first day, from orientation, they are very aware that there are other students next to them, learning next to them, walking the halls, sitting and eating lunch with them, going to the community and doing projects together that have chosen a different discipline, but that everybody together will be working together once they graduate. So the whole nature of being at ATSU, both the physical context, the learning context, and even the outreach to the community context, teaches people how to be an interprofessional health care provider. We try to see um, what is needed actually out in the community. So often that is um, looking at existing practitioners who may need an advanced level of education. They don't have time to stop their jobs. They don't want to stop their jobs and they want to be able to come online and get a doctoral degree in occupational therapy, athletic training, physical therapy. So some of our niche is there, but we're also always thinking about how the healthcare environment is changing, what may be needed for the, for the patient, what we're experts at doing and how we can integrate new programs into our current spectrum. I would be glad to share with you some of the programs that the Arizona School of Health Sciences offers. We have in our audiology department two programs. We have an entry-level residential program and we have a tr transitional program of audiology that takes audiologists and brings them to the doctor level. We have an occupational therapy department with two programs in it. We just started the third. The first is the entry-level master's program for occupational therapists. The second is an advanced master's of occupational therapy. And the third is a online doctoral program, which is a post-professional program. We also have a physical therapy department and in that department, we have two programs and two residencies. We have an entry-level physical therapy program, an online transitional physical therapy program, and two residencies, very unique. One is an orthopedic residency and one is a neurological residency. We also have an athletic training program, a department with two programs. One is a post-professional athletic training program, and one is a doctor of athletic training online program. And finally, we have the physician assistance department, and in that department, we have two programs. One is a entry-level physician assistant program, and one is an advanced master's in physician assistant. I believe the Arizona School of Health Sciences is the glue for AT Still University because we, provide the connection between the two medical schools and the two dental schools and our College of Graduate Health Studies. And the overall goal is to provide patient-centered care, taking into consideration that a patient is a whole human being with a body, mind, and spirit.